we have here the Zoom Fly 5. My hands steady, I feel ready, but my legs heavy, I don't get it. How come I haven't hit it already? Still working, I'm still learning, I'm still searching, finally earning something, finally turning something called a profit. If I hear you, what's up, guys? It's your boy Ken again, your simple runner. Welcome back to my channel. Yep, thank you for the like subscribers of my channel. You're awesome, guys, as always. So, I've been waiting for this shoe for quite a long time. Um, this was released about early June 2022 and I've seen some vloggers I was able to get the hands of these Zoom Fly 5 fortunately here in our area here in Canada you have to order it online so you cannot get it in store they are waiting for their stocks um, fortunately so I just ordered it online and yeah it's been a long time this product has been delayed for delivery but yeah, I was excited to get it this month actually. And here it is, the Zoom Fly 5. So I was so excited, so I immediately went for a 10k run on this shoe. But I was really, really disappointed with the shoe. And I'll tell you why. But let's go ahead and uh, see first the technicalities on this shoe. Starting first, of course, on the upper. It is a mesh upper, breathable, I would say with a lot of paddings inside I don't know if you can see that yellow part there those padding basically adds up to the weight of the shoe tongue is standard they got away from the booty type construction that we used to have on the Zoom Fly 4 uh, well padded heel of course they removed that uh, handle at the back actually uh, standard lace nothing special on it um, well, the big thing about upper is the breathability is it that breathable compared to the predecessor i would say fair it is breathable in terms of fit upper i think it has ample enough space for your toes as a wide foot runner um i think yeah uh it has a little bit of uh space in terms of uh, the uh, mid part of the upper and the toe box I didn't have any issue at all with the toe box so yeah we're good guys uh, going to the midsole it is a full-length zoom x foam it is soft okay it feel like more of a react foam that's my opinion now going to the outsole here's a rubber at the heel and at the four foot rubber with a little bit of lugs I would say these are lugs and an exposed zoom x at the mid All right in terms of durability um, I think this is not that durable compared to the uh, uh, predecessor which is a zoom fly 4 rubber uh, I think that is more durable compared to this uh, long run I would say this would just tear out so anyway, uh, this comes at uh, 9.6 ounces. At some point, I heard some people weighing this shoe at 10 ounces. It's quite heavy for a race shoe, actually. Personally, I have here the uh, Next% Percent 2 that I usually use for an everyday run now and race run. This is way lighter compared to this shoe, Zoom 5.5. Five. All right, straight up, this shoe is not as bouncy as the Invincible or the Nike Next Percent or the Alba Fly. All those expectations was not met on the shoe. It felt more of like a react normal react foam when I was running. But you still have that a bit of propulsion going forward with the shoe. Tip off. Okay, I would say that. It felt a bit heavy. That's one thing. I don't know. This performs more of I guess short slow run short slow run or maybe just a recovery type of run that's how I feel about this shoe uh, this is marketed as an everyday running shoe yes it may be uh, for easy runs but if you're going for uh, training which is a tempo run or a fast cadence type of run then I would not go with this uh, you have more options out there you can go with the next percent or maybe a Saucony uh, speed 
type of uh, shoe so with the price category by the way I, I forgot to mention about that this is more of a $200 shoe so if you're thinking about $200 there is a lot of way way better shoe out there check out uh, the Meta Sky I think that's $300 my bad um, I'll go with the uh, Sukoni Sukoni Endorphin try that or maybe uh, a Hoka shoe as well so this is a carbon fiber plated shoe remember that soon fly always have the that I mean the soon fly category series always have that carbon fiber plate that you and yeah with regards to the construction of this shoe it is well bid, built rigid but it fell short to the uh, carbon fiber plate wars so that was my opinion thank you again for watching please subscribe peace out stay healthy stay safe how come I haven't hit it already? Still working, I'm still learning, I'm still searching, finally earning something, finally turning something called a profit. If I hear you talking shit, don't get caught in it. I'll be popping.